not only the Superman building, you have three major buildings that have lost a great deal of uh, their value. It's a huge issue. Downtown is, you have the Superman building, you have one financial plaza, Citizens is going up for auction, and uh, Mr. Paley and bought another building. This is a huge problem, what's going on downtown. What would I do with Superman building? Well, I'm already talking with people throughout the country to see if they have any interest in it. It's a tough building, it's an old building, and we are in a, certainly a new economy and our buildings are designed very differently. Uh, I would do anything if I could to keep it. And again, I would have the gravitas to go through people throughout the country, and maybe one of our universities would take some sort of leadership role in this as well. So yes, I would like to keep the, the Superman building. I would like to make sure that our value, our real estate value isn't disintegrating with these three major buildings going, uh, going on the, for sale with, uh, again, with a decreased percentage of their value. Mr. Lorzo, we were talking to you about this during the 2014 campaign for the mayor. So, give us the update on the Superman building. Why hasn't been built? Well, the, the why, I'll get to the why in a second. You know, from the moment I took office until this very moment, we've always been working in conjunction with the state on a plan to bring the Superman building back to life. We've had some highly publicized uh, initiatives. We've had some that have been more on the down low. Uh, unfortunately, it hasn't materialized, and we all know the challenges that the building has. It takes about $50 million of subsidy just to get inside of the door. Now, there've been, there's been some interest shown by some major corporate headquarters, and um, there's also been suggestions. Uh, we brought some folks in to look at it for a mix of residential and commercial, as well as some folks to look at it just for residential. You know, the challenge is that it's an old building. People now are looking for 20, even 30,000 foot floor plates, nice spread out and open for, for office space. It's very different. I've been inside of the building multiple times. And so, you know, that's a, and that doesn't mean that the building is doomed. I think that there's work that can be done. But I think that the more that we continue to generate economic momentum and economic activity, the more we become this draw and the hub for businesses that want to be here. All of our Class A and Class B retail space uh, and business space um, is going to be filled. Um, unfortunately, this hasn't yet because of some of the inherent limitations of the building. Uh, but um, if we continue with the progress, I am sure it will become more and more attractive. Mr. Premier, the Superman building, it's the iconic skyscraper in the sky, right? Yeah. Why is it and the uh, uh, let's see, they're paying the taxes. It belongs to somebody, okay? It's their problem. Okay, the city's going to get involved and all it's going to do is, is they're going to want you to pay for it, okay? Somebody bought that building, the guy pays the taxes, okay? Obviously Joe Paolino wants the building, I'm pretty sure Buff Chase wants the building. I mean, I've heard many people want the building, but they don't want to pay what the guy wants for it. Let the building stay just the way it is. The guy's paying his taxes, okay? At some point, somebody's going to buy the building, and it's not going to cost us a penny. There's nothing wrong with the building. It's not like there's vacuums living in it. It's not it's a fire hazard. We've got more abandoned property through the city that we should worry about. Right now, the Superman building, I mean, obviously it's nostalgia. They said it's because of the Superman. But I don't see the city having really too much to do with it unless the city is going to put up, like you said, $50 million that we could take that $50 million and go somewhere else with it because, like I said, the building is not bothering anybody. Okay? Um, I understand the guy that owns it, he's, he's not going to budge, okay? It is what it is, and at some point, somebody will take the building, okay? And it's not like nobody's going to paint the thing purple and it's going to be an eyesore or something, okay? The windows are all there. You drive by, you really can't tell. I understand he, sometimes he puts little barriers up to kind of give everybody a hard time to walk around, but like I say, to me right now, let the city stay out of that, okay? you got other things to worry about.